Hi guys, so today I'm super excited to share with you this new collection. I had shown it in um, kind of like a preview of all the new collections that Spellbinders had put out. Um, actually, it wasn't a preview. They had already been launched, but um, <laughs> just to show you the, some of the new items. And it's the um, just the cutest uh, little set here. Excuse me, the uh, Country Road Collection by Annie Williams there. And I was so excited that I have what the actual packaging looks like, because a lot of times I get samples and you know, they're just kind of in a little bag and I show them to you guys. But um, these are just so cute. So again, I went over the whole collection in that uh, first reveal video. I'll go ahead and link that in the description box today. We're going to get right to it. So I'm definitely going to start off with the Country Wheelbarrow. As you can see, it doesn't have too many pieces to make this really cute wheelbarrow. You can fill it in with flowers. You can even make a whole scene. You've got your little water pump, maybe an old wheel. I mean, all these different things that are in this set. Um, I think... I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to go with some of the little vegetables and things like fall, summer, you know, those kinds of uh, things. Uh, obviously, pumpkin stuff is a little more fall, but the veggie, the veggies, <laughs> the veggies are more like summer related, I think, in my opinion. So I'm going to use some of those. Um, unfortunately, this set right here is sold out in quite a few spots, so um, I may or may not use it today. I don't want to tease you guys, uh, but I'll link it wherever it might be available, and those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items. So those links, and if I haven't said, these items were sent free of charge from my view, and of course, all opinions are my own. I mean, this is adorable. I can see why it's just, like, gone, because, like, all these little things you can stamp in, like, your little sign, you can make it a hanging sign, you can put it on a post, you can put the post with the thing, and, the, you know, just a lot of cute ways to um, play with this set. It has, like, latches. I mean, it is just really adorable, and then, of course, a photopolymer stamp set to help you finish off you know, whatever whatever sentiment you want to add on there but um let me start i think we'll start with the card base is generally what i do and then i'll go from there so it's probably going to be an a2 size card um just going to take a look at this and see you know as you have your inspo on the front there you can kind of have an idea oh <laughs> they changed this carrier to this little, like frosty one and um, I always forget about that so um, it's harder to tell or to see it's not just stuck on the paper you know so as you look at it you can say you know you, would you like like a little whitewashed wood or maybe like a little old school wood looking wagon or like this one they use like a very light blue which is really cute some accent pieces you know you have your wheel um, the wheel also has some a couple of accent pieces so if you want that to look like wood and then maybe this is black iron or whatever they have a gray uh, accent on it so just kind of think about that I'm gonna grab some papers for like the card base and then probably some colors for this and then we'll go from there so yeah I grabbed this assorted paper pack I've had for a minute there's only a few sheets left but I thought this um, color would be really cute that country feel and funny enough I was like I want to go for an oval kind of background it's gonna be smaller than this guy but I always I don't know I'm into ovals right now so I'm gonna cut this down to four and a quarter by five and three eighths roughly and then I'll just run it through an embossing folder I always like to have a little texture or something like that so I always try to remember to add something like that so uh, I'm just gonna grab an embossing folder I'll let you know which one that is I know I have several here in front of me right now that um, are really cute oh this is the one here in my hand is this one that they use there. But um, I'll just look through and see which one I want to use. You know what? Why not this one? Since these are the ones in front of me. Cute. It has little flowers and little leaves. So I'll, I'll um, like I said, cut it down. I'll run it through my embossing folder. And then I'll also cut this out of just like white paper. And it's still stuck together from the last time I used it. So that's perfect. I'll run this through some white paper. It's a fluted oval. Um, and I'll so I just have a craft cardstock base here, and let's get this guy going. So pretty, and that happens to be the February embossing folder of the month. So, uh, where are we at now? What month are we in? May. Um, it should be available on the site, so I'll try and link that for you as a one-off purchase without having signed up for the clubs. I'm going to trim this down just a little bit because I feel like either that card base is a little bit off or my cutting was so. Eh, that's just the smallest amount there. And a little better. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and glue this guy down. And I'll probably also glue down my oval because we're going to have some dimension with our other items. So I'm just going to keep everything pretty flat here. Cute. And again, both sides, obviously I put glue on that side, but um, are really, really pretty. Emboss, deboss. Just as awesome. And... And with my oval, I'm pretty much going to put it just in the center, but I can definitely, you know, if you wanted to build up your little wagon first to know if that's what you wanted to do, but I'm just going to pop this guy here. And just putting glue in that center area. Avoiding the little flutes. 
And then, you know, I'll position my little wagon wherever it is that I want to place that there. Maybe a little more this way. And I'll be just back. kind of keeping that flat over here. And we have a card base ready to go. And I did do that landscape. Unfortunately, if I wasn't paying attention where the uh, fold was, it could be the same either way. You know, so that's good. Okay, so there we have that. And with these guys, I did bring out some really shiny silver because I thought, well, I mean, we can make it look more rustic, but even with the black, I have some shiny black paper. I thought it would be really cute, but I'm going to leave the black wheel part, like this metal portion, just a matte black paper. So it's just a scrap of paper. Um, let me see if there's anything else that needs to be black. Well, we can get to that. So as far as my wheelbarrow, I'm going to do it all like a craft color. So I have craft cardstock here. We're going to cut that guy. And it looks like this portion and this portion. <laughs> and I want to see what else is on here. So we have this piece that's like this holder area here. So that one I was going to go ahead and cut out with the silver paper. So I'm trying to cover up so my camera doesn't freak out, but there it is. And um, it looks like some of those other, oh, how cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. That little rod that goes through there. Sorry, I was talking kind of, is this portion here. So it's this and this, I believe. And then this piece right here is what runs down here. So I am going to cut that out also out of silver. And you know, the rod can be cut out from different things. Again, there's like a little circle in the back. I don't know if you can see that. That's basically this piece. So I'm going to run this through to get the brown so it looks like wood, like the wheel is made out of wood. The dark brown that I have here. And then I'll probably run it again. Should we go through black or silver? We can run it through silver so it'll kind of coordinate with what's going on here. So I'll run it through some brown paper. And then also just this piece and this piece. I just need to run it through the silver. Oh, sorry. I was out of frame. Just those two little bits. Okay. But I'll be back. There we go. So just a little bit. I just needed that piece and this guy from that silver. Everything else I ran through at the same time and got it all done at once. Um, okay. So I'm going to take a little moment to do a little distressing on this part. I didn't pop this guy out yet. Oh my gosh. I love that it's all just there and then it has areas where you pretty much know that you need to place, you know, these other accent pieces. Uh, let me grab easier said than done sometimes, but here we go. <laughs> Emerald hunk kind of crafter here, you guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to have this and just some brown ink. And I'm going to go around, and as you can see, I mean, obviously this is like this, so, you know, just get a little, a little distressing. I think we're going to cover that anyway, that area. So just wherever you think it's going to be visible. <laughs> A little bit of that. It's a little more visible. And maybe just in here. Just a little something. I don't go too overboard with that. And then this piece is the piece that kind of goes in here. So we can do a little more on that since that will be visible. I love the little slats. That's so cute. And then this piece. Um, let's see where this guy goes. Oh, you know what? It's in the back, I, I believe. Um, it looks like the back. It's just you can't see it because it's so full of flowers. So let's go ahead and distress it because I don't know how much of this might show or not. But it's basically going to go attached there. So it looks like more 3D. <gasps> how cute is that already? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, and I think that's all I want to do as far as distressing. Everything else is kind of doing its own thing. So let me clean up a little bit and I'll bring right it um, This is just extra. I think we should probably have our little vegetables and whatever else we're going to cut ready just because I'm not 100% sure, you know, I wanted to put them back behind here so it looks more dimensional. So I don't really quite want to glue that down yet. So let's see what we have. Oh, maybe we'll do a little kitty. Let's go ahead and cut a kitty out of this set just to have a little silhouette of a kitty cat. So I'll cut that out of black just to have it. And then um, these guys, I'll just find the pieces that I would like for. <laughs> this is so cute. So you have your carrot and like your bell pepper and like a little chili and things like that over here. Um, some gourds. And then like most of the pumpkins are all on one piece, like the toppers, their little stems. And then for the veggies too, they're all on one piece, which is really great. So, you know, orange, red, whatever, green, whatever colors I want to cut those out. And in this, I'll run through some green paper and we'll just have them all done. I'll bear back. My little garden here. Um, so I'm just going to match up, you know, like little chile here. 
I could have sworn there was a tomato and I was like, where is the tomato? It's a little round shape, so you might overlook it like I did, but there's definitely a tomato die in there. Uh, let's see, oh, this one. <laughs> I was like, which one goes here? So the curves of the stems help you also find out. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just a little bit, that is so cute. So I have a couple of those, um, you know, I have, uh, a couple of bell peppers here. I did a light green and a dark green, or not light green, sorry, yellow and a dark green. I was talking about the stems. Like for the stem, I have a dark green that, you know, it's just a little different there. I believe that's the one that goes on there. And then I have some yellow ones. I have my carrots that I'll put this on. And then this guy's for our little tomato. I was thinking how cute would it be to like do like heirloom tomatoes where they're kind of like purpley red or some fun uh, colors like that, but we'll pop that on there. And I'll be back when my veggies are all put together. Okay, so I have my little guys, I got my little cat, you know, we'll use whatever we can, maybe not all of them, I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my card base. Now if I thought about this earlier, I would have just stamped this already, but uh, if we take our guy, oh, <laughs> we'll stick there, and you know, basically it's supposed to be ground level, right, and then this holds this area and the wheel, something like that, right? Um, I think what I'm going to do is, wait, let me see. How does that look the best? I'm trying to see what the example shows. Yeah. Okay, I just want to see that I have this positioned right, or somewhat. Uh, I am going to take one of the sentiments, and I'm sorry, like I said, I don't want to tease you guys, but I have it here, and I'm sure other folks pick them up, so um, hopefully they'll come back in stock soon, and others can grab them, but um, I mean, they're so cute. Like, I pick you is really, really cute. Plant kindness, gather love. <gasps> oh my gosh. How is it growing? Oh my goodness. Loads of, and then like luck, or you know, Sending loads of luck, sending love, loads of love. I mean, there's just lots of ways to play with this. Thanks a bunch. Let's go with how's it growing. It's kind of an everyday kind of card. And I'm going to eyeball that. And I'm just going to put this um, in a stamp positioner. Basically, I just kind of pay attention to what it is I think or where it is I think I want to put it. How cute is that? Oh, I want to point out this other set. So cute with the little wheat. And that'd be just cute to just, again, flesh out your... Um, your little scene or whatever it is that you're trying to do, I think those are really fun. Um, how cute would those be with like flowers? Like are there flower dyes from Spellbinders or you know any dyes you have? I think that'd be really fun to add a little wheat here and there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on here. Obviously, get it going, stick it down, and do my stamping and I'll be right back. Okay, great, just stamped it once and looks perfect, okay. Uh, let me clean this up and then we'll start by building up uh, the background of our little guy and then build the pieces out as we go along. So I will leave this up close like this just in case, um, just to get a better view for you guys. And all our pieces are over here, okay. So I think what I should do is go ahead and get my wheel going and I mean it looks pretty symmetrical so we have this with some little pieces here to help you glue it down. Oh that is so cool. I was wondering what these little notches are. Basically it helps you know that you're putting it in the right place right if you line it up correctly you won't see the notches they're behind the the wrought iron if you will so that is really cool. I'm gonna put the glue on this and not too, too much. Take a little bit of that off. And I don't know if this wheel is symmetrical or what. It seems like it might be, yeah. So I'm just going to hold that down to get a little extra glue, sorry. My vantage point has changed because I have it close up and I'm used to working in a different spot. And then this one, oh my gosh, they are so smart. Again, I was like, what are those little lines about? <laughs> so those little lines help you when you put this on here that you're putting it in the right spot too. Oh my gosh, so for this one, I'm gonna put the glue on the back of this because I think that'd be the easier place to place it. Take a little bit off. So smart. I was wondering why one is like different than the other, but I was like, well, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> but that's literally why. So good, okay. Um, so then you have that look of like, a complete wheel with just these pieces. I That is amazing. Okay, um, I'm gonna put a little glue back here because the next thing is like this portion here. And there's a slightly wider area and then a smaller one, but the smaller area has like, 
again a little mark I don't know it's hard to see there that basically tells you to line it up against here right so just like the lines that were on this one they have a little line there like a little embossed line that helps you place that and then we have this guy that's going to run through both of them and I want to see what I'm thinking about that look at how cute it even has little spaces for it right here crazy um, okay so with this guy with this last little bit what I want to see first is how far does it go from one to the other like does it actually go into this little hole oh my goodness it does <laughs> that is so cute okay uh, what I'm gonna do is put a little glue in the back I don't really know exactly where like there I'm gonna put this through this guy you guys this is just wow and pop it through the front actually is it popping oh it's popping yeah through the back and I'm doing it all at once but I'm sure you can string the one piece and then bring it to the other so we're just gonna bring that there and then this guy can kind of go through to the other side or just lay there right <laughs> you don't have to really you can barely even see that anyhow so if you want to just keep it right on top that's fine too or try to get it through that little hole either way I'm just gonna wait hold that for a little bit and I'll be right back guys, this is so cute okay so we have our wheel on and all the other parts <laughs> cute so what I'm gonna do just to get this wheel part finished up is put some glue put some glue on my wheel put some glue here not so much in this area in case um, I guess with this other part we can pop it up. Um, let's see here and here. Just trying to see where it would be the best to put our little glue. Something like that. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, before I really push any of this down, I didn't put any glue behind here, but we are going to use this too. So, uh, let's see. I haven't really pushed anything down yet, but I will push that down. We do have a couple pieces left that we're going to kind of stick this back in here. But once we have um, our other decorative pieces, like the side piece and the piece in the back. So I'm kind of just <laughs> in my mind, like, how am I putting this together? You know what I can do? I can glue this part down in the very back where it's supposed to be, but I didn't put glue in the front. Okay, I only put glue towards the back. So that means I can still pop things in here. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. I can still place veggies and things in there so let's say we had a little veggie there and some carrots I want to see where this ends up this is gonna be out here oh my gosh this is so cute <laughs> all right a uh, little tomato yeah you know I don't go overboard oh if I have a thing I want a chile too Okay, something like that. So what I'm going to do is put this to the side for right now and just start gluing these guys in and 3D adhesive, whatever it is that you would like to use to give yourself a little more texture, that would be great. Definition, dimension, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know what, I'm probably going to go ahead and glue this. Should I glue that down? I think I'm just going to glue it down right here because underneath is where I can still pop things in. So I'm just going to pop that in just to have it to help me see where it is so I can tuck other things in. So I'll just continue adding glue, tucking things in, and go from there. You know, I still like a lot of the whatever's going on to kind of show. So I do want like the little handle there to show, and I'll stick a couple other little things here and there, and I'll be right back. You guys, these are so cute. <laughs> look at them. Because they have like that little definition too. I mean, they look dimensional and they're just literally a piece of paper, you know? They did a really great job of some of the embossing being deeper and others. So it just, I, I'm, I'm just, I don't even have words. Um, I suppose I can put some glue here just to finish that off. And then we have these bits here. So let me see if um, we have this guy that should go here. I just want to see how high up that goes compared to where this should be. So if I should put that first, sure. And you know, if you want to just put that and maybe people wouldn't even notice that you don't have this other bit, you can definitely do that. A lot of definition in this 
definition. Why do I keep saying definition? <laughs> Detail, dimension, all that. There you go. And then this little guy is going to go across the front and to the back. So I'm just going to put some glue there. And it basically just kind of tucks in here. And I mean, that's just the way I'm putting it together. It goes like in here and up to here. I'm thinking we place that right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'll show you what, where I kind of determined where I should go. Let me hold this down for a second. I'll show you exactly where I placed it. Oh, I guess we can put her. You know, I didn't glue my wheel down earlier, so it probably dried. I'm just going to put a little more glue. And then I'll hold this all down, especially because that is a shiny paper. It's a Spellbinders paper that's shiny on both sides, so you have to hold it down for a little bit. But what I did to line it up is I see how this kind of goes crooked and then out, um, or straight and then out. Um, that's where I lined it up at the edge of that wood. So that's how I gauge that. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to hold this down, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I mean, how cute is that? You know, I have these extra veggies, and they just have to be here. So I'm going to put this uh, here. This one like that. And then this one I put a little dimension on the back of. Something like that. And then we still have our little kitty. So I just put some dimensionals because I just have to use this little kitty. She's so cute. I mean, you can put her wherever, but I'm going to put her like right here. Just hanging out. Oh, I mean, you know, you have to kind of think about like where would the ground be if this was somewhere. So for me, I, just, I think she looks really cute right here. So there she is. All right, guys, thanks for watching this uh, collection. I mean, they just hit out of the park. It is so cute. So many fun ways to play with it, and um, I'm just super happy with this. <laughs> Look how cute that is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have uh, images come up. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.